North Korea has fired off yet another thinly veiled warning at the United States, promising to send, quote, more gift packages to Washington. The message was sent by Pyongyang's envoy to the UN in the regime's latest act of defiance following its nuclear test on Sunday. Eugene He reports. The wording was more subtle, at least by North Korean standards, but the message was clear. North Korea's ambassador to the UN, Han Dae-sung, said his country would send more gift packages to the U.S. if Washington continues to turn up the heat on the regime. Speaking at a UN arms conference in Geneva on Tuesday, the envoy said he was proud of Pyongyang's latest nuclear test, saying it's a necessary deterrent against perceived signs of hostility from the U.S. The recent self-defensive measures by my country, DPRK, a gift package addressed to none other than the U.S. The U.S. will receive more gift packages from my country as long as it rely on reckless provocations and fertile attempt to put, to put pressure on the DPRK. Han stood defiant despite the wave of condemnation and growing isolation being faced by the regime, saying pressure and sanctions would be a futile and wasted effort in deterring his country. He ruled out the possibility of any talks on North Korea's denuclearization, saying Pyongyang's nuclear deterrent is a topic that is off-limits and non-negotiable in any future dialogue. Washington's ambassador to the UN, Robert Wood, responded by saying the regime's nuclear and missile programs were a threat to the entire world. He said North Korea can no longer be allowed to continue its violation of international law and that it was time for the global community to put its foot down once and for all. Now is the time to say to the regime that provocations, threats and destabilizing actions will no longer be tolerated. Following North Korea's nuclear test, the UN Security Council held an emergency meeting on Monday to formulate a response. While Washington and its allies have called for a broadening of sanctions on the regime, China and Russia are still questioning the efficacy of such measures. Eugenie, Arirang News.